so you didn't know, stop. Most do you see me? Here's my question for you, my final question, big question. How many of you believe, you really believe, that you have every intention of going on and getting PhD, MD, PhD, or grad degree? How many? Very good, very good. How many of you think you're going to change the world? Ah, very good. The primary purpose of the program is to produce scientists and engineers and with an emphasis on people from underrepresented groups, but also scientists in, of all races who have an interest in helping people from all groups. Over the summer, I was at the Jackson Laboratory studying schizophrenia from like a bioinformatic approach. I'm really excited about continuing my research at UMB, working with uh, the stroke patients. It was really interesting this summer. So I'm really excited about getting my own project and continuing working with that. When you realize what you're doing, it's not that hard. You just be, you're just able to think more clearly like, oh, okay, it's starting to click. The more work that you put into it, the more sure that you'll be. And you know, and, and people learn different ways. Maybe you learn by showing somebody else. Maybe you learn by doing it on your own. But find out what that way is for you and make sure that you do it. I received a lot of support from my peers and I've, uh, I think, I'm not sure if I would have made it without them. And, uh, and it's also not just amongst each cohort, but there's a huge factor with the mentorship from older students. And so um, it's been really an honor for me to return that favor to younger students as well. I really do try to make sure that she's getting what she needs out of the semester in terms of what can I do to help support her and make sure that she's getting what will benefit her the most. So I really try to push her out of her comfort zone because you didn't come to college just to you know, do what you did in high school. This is a chance for you to really explore, really find out what you love to do and find your passion. I think we have like a good personal relationship that we've developed over the first year. And it's definitely like we have, um, like we talked about earlier, the type of how we just call meetings whenever, <laughs> just to talk about whatever is going on in classes and life and anything. I can just easily see him on campus and say, hey John, can we have a meeting like this weekend or something? And he'll be like, yeah. So it's like, it's a good type of relationship we have back and forth between each other. He gives me tasks, I respond <laughs> in a timely manner and get them done. And it's a good way to just help me to stay successful and stay on my track for school. I am looking forward to seeing a lot of these Mahas uh, as professors in places, starting companies, uh, inspiring others to do it. There's definitely a strong need for programs like this that can find ways to increase the number of students from all races who can not simply make it through the program, but who can excel. That's the point. We want excellent scientists who can work on these problems. I think my favorite aspect of the program was coming in and being supported continuously and then leaving out supporting someone as well. It's just in the case of cycling and legacy that Meyerhoff continues to represent. And it's an amazing experience to know that what I've been offered and given, I'm giving it to someone else as well. And that's just, it's just an amazing feeling. Without family, where would we all be, you know? So either your family at home, family here, it's, that's, I think that's crucial for success in school. Pretty much anything I need, I go to him. I mean, we have a great relationship. We're like brothers type deal. And it's like, what, see, yeah. <laughs> see, we love each other, so, sort of. We enjoy a lot of perks today. We have folks who come from MIT to Berkeley on a weekly basis to spend time talking about internship programs, graduate school opportunities, fellowships. Those campus visits Ms. Hall mentioned, those folks are coming from across the country because of the reputation of UMBC and the Meyerhoff program and to spend time sharing with you and pouring into you for your growth and development. That did not just fall out the sky. It was earned. It was earned by M1s, M2s, M3s, M4s, and M5s. We have a legacy of excellence to uphold. As we enter this year, you're not studying for a grade, you're studying for your future to be well educated and you have the knowledge to work with and go forth and make a difference in life. We have a legacy to uphold. Folks worked hard, they fought for it. It's so important that we do it. Hold up.
up, hold up, hold up. Everyone hold still. And we're good.